Hello friends, welcome back to YouTube channel Beautiful Victory. Today is 11th August 2022. It is 19th week in ordinary time. In this video, you will get to know about the saint of the day, gospel reflection and quote of the day in the end. Saint of the day, Saint Claire of Assisi. She was born at Assisi. Saint Clair followed Saint Francis of Assisi in his life of poverty and was a founder of the order of nuns named Poclares. She wrote the rule of life, the first set of monastic guidelines known to have been written by a woman. She is noted for her indomitable resolve to lead the simple Little gospel life, a passion for poverty and humility, an ardent life of prayer and a generous concern for her sisters. Gospel Reflection Matthew chapter 18 verses 21 and chapter 19 verse 1 You wicked servant, I forgave your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant, as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly father do to you, unless each of you forgives his brother from his heart. This is definitely not what we want Jesus to say and do to us. How frightening to hear him say, you wicked servant, and then to have him hand us over to the torturers until you pay back all you owe for your sins. Well, the good news is that Jesus deeply longs to avoid such an awful confrontation. He has no desire to hold any one of us accountable for the ugliness of our sins. His burning desire is to forgive us, pour out His mercy and wipe the debt away. The danger is that there is at least one thing that will keep Him from offering us this act of mercy. It's our obstinacy in failing to forgive those who have wronged us. This is a serious requirement of God upon us and one we should not take lightly. Jesus told the story for a reason and the reason was that he meant it. We can often just think of Jesus as a very passive and gentle person who will always smile and look the other way when we sin. But don't forget this parable. Don't forget that Jesus is serious about obstinate refusal to offer mercy and forgiveness to others. Why is he so strong on this requirement? Because we cannot receive what we are not willing to give away. Perhaps that doesn't make sense at first, but it's a very real fact of the spiritual life. If we want mercy, we must give mercy away. If we want forgiveness, we must offer forgiveness. But if we want harsh judgment and condemnation, then go ahead and offer Ask judgment and condemnation. Jesus will answer that act in kind and severity. Let us reflect today upon those powerfully piercing words of Jesus. You wicked servant. Though they may not be the most inspiring words to reflect upon, they may be some of the most useful words to reflect on. We all 
need to hear them at times because we need to be convinced of the seriousness of our obstinance judgmentalness and harshness towards others if that is your struggle repent of this tendency today and let jesus lift that heavy burden lord we do repent our stubbornness of heart we repent of a harshness and a lack of forgiveness in your compassion please do forgive us and fill our heart with your mercy towards others jesus we trust in you amen quote of the day life is not about having everything it's about finding meaning in everything thank you friends Thank you.